who's been possessed. What are some of the signs? Somebody who likes to be alone. He likes to stay alone. Always, he's just alone. Not necessarily. Again, again, I'm just giving you some examples, but they could not necessarily true. Like being alone. If that doesn't mean if somebody likes segregation, he's possessed. La. He gets mad and upset all the time, yani, for no reason. You just get mad and start yelling. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe. Seeing frequent nightmares. Nightmares of serpents following you or, or, or these very, very, very bad nightmares that you frequently, frequently see. Maybe Allah A'lam, it's a sign. It's a sign. But, and I'll tell you about in a way to, to find out whether a person has some you know, black magic or not, or being possessed or not. Falling off a cliff. You see a dream falling off a cliff. Anybody seen a dream like that? Uh, <laughs> no. Not necessarily. Not necessarily you're possessed. But again, somebody who sees himself, you know, continuously, subhanAllah, uh, f- you know, falling off a cliff, it could be a sign. Wallahu a'lam. Wallahu a'lam. Again, Allah knows best. Allahu a'lam. Reasons for epilepsy. What are some of the reasons for epilepsy? <clears throat> Jinn falling in love in human. Jinn falling in love. Can they fall in love in human? Yes, they can. We were performing ruqya on this woman one time in this masjid in Toronto. And then this woman, subhanAllah, the voice of a man started, you know, being, you know, started talking to us. David. <laughs> David, how did you get into this woman? I love her. How did you get into her? I saw her taking a shower. And I fell in love with her. She entered the shower, she entered the washroom without saying the dua. She removed her clothes without saying the dua. Sunnah, 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 sunnah is your protection, sunnah. Huh? How do you enter the washroom? Left foot, how do you come out? What do you say when you enter? What's the dua? Oh, dua. Allahumma inni. I seek refuge Allah from the khubs and khabait. What are khubs and khabait? From the male and female jinn and shayateen. So this is how this person, subhanAllah, uh, this woman got sort of hit by this uh, guy. Oppressing them, they can hit you. Okay? Remember, they are afraid of humans. They like to stay away from humans. That's why they like to reside and dwell in very far places, dirty places. But if you, again, they don't like being oppressed. How, how being oppressed? Like putting hot water in sinks, for instance. It's one example, putting hot water. If you want to pour hot water in sinks, what do you say? Bismillah. Bismillah. If there is some jinn you know, living inside, he wouldn't get burned, so you wouldn't harm him. And then he wouldn't harm you back. We've seen people getting hurt like that. The entire family being, you know, attacking this man. Why? Because he burned them and he burned the entire family. So they wanted to retaliate. Things like that do happen. Bismillah. Bismillah. So oppressing them. Under extreme anger, they can... huh? Because you're constantly members of Allah Azza They cannot come into you. They cannot approach you. They will stay away from you. But once you give them the opportunity, they will come. Extreme anger. Until someone would not actually remember what they're saying, that's the opportunity that you're giving them to come and dwell onto you. To attack you. This is all from the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, by the way. Under extreme fear, your heart is pumping so hard. Make dhikr of Allah Azza wa Make dhikr of Allah. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. Inshallah, you'll feel cool and relaxed. Indulging in prohibited acts like unkindness to the parents. There was a kid like that, subhanallah. There were so many kids, but we've known of kids like that. And once we re- you know, found out how they, uh, they've been possessed, because they've been, subhanallah, uh, unkind and you know very rude to their parents. So Allah Azza wa wanted to test them and trial them. 
Could be a test, a trial from Allah Azza wa Jal. Again, what did we say? Nothing happens except with the will and permission of Allah. They cannot dwell anybody except with the will and permission of Allah. Even if you oppress them, they can only enter that person with the will and permission of Allah Azza wa Jal. So you're saying, subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah, akbar. Naam, you're protected. But Allah wants to test you. The Prophet was hit with, uh, you know, uh, with witchcraft, wasn't it? You know, this uh, Sahila, this woman who gave uh, him this uh, shat, you know, the, uh, as he was eating with the Sahaba, and it was masmuma, and it was, you know, and it was like poisoned, you know, uh, what is it, a goat? Or it was, uh, she invited them and she gave him this uh, poisoned food, and she also performed some witchcraft in honor, subhanAllah. But the Prophet ﷺ, as Jibreel, of course, and you know, he was, uh, he was notified, Ali Salatu Sam, because he's Rasulullah. He is Rasulullah. Nah. As I said, tests and trials could be a reason. Test and trials could be a reason. What are some of the precursors to epilepsy? The precursor to epilepsy, one is lack of sleep, insomnia, or insomnia. Lack of sleep, subhanAllah, somebody who's just doesn't sleep constantly, just, you know, sleep maybe one, two hours, and he wakes up, and he just doesn't feel sleepy, subhanAllah, could be a sign. This is a precursor. Recurrent nightmares. Recurrent caboose or nightmares is another precursor, or again, some of the signs. Excess awakening at night. Lack of sleep or excess awakening at night. Seen animals like dogs, snakes, lions, mice, cats in dreams. Could be, could be again a sign. Nothing for sure, but again, it's just some of examples. Pressing against the teeth while asleep. <laughs> Sometimes this, you know, that happens. I mean, you see people sleeping and, and, and pressing against their teeth. It could be a sign, not necessarily again. If you do it, and that doesn't mean uh, your wife can, oh, I hear my husband, you're not sleeping with me tonight. <laughs> Maybe you have Janiza, I love you, get out. La, Allahu alam. It could be, it could be. You can do a test. We'll show you the test. You can do a test. And, uh, but one of the signs is somebody who's pressing against their teeth while sleeping. Excess sleepwalking. Anybody? Sleepwalking? All the time. Could be a sign, could be. Not necessarily, but it could be a sign. Again, dreaming falling off a cliff is a, a sign, we talked about it. Screaming while asleep. A lot of people do that, subhanAllah. All of us, you know, while asleep, you know, just... Not necessarily, but it could be. I know a person who used to play karate, and then every time at night he sleeps and he wakes up, you know, playing karate. That doesn't mean that he's possessed, but this is what he does in the morning. He, that, exactly, transfer at night. Seeing oneself in a graveyard, dump or deserted place in a dream, could be also a sign or a precursor to epilepsy. <clears throat> How would you test for the witchcrafting? Here we go. <clears throat> You want to come? I'll do a test on you? Don't worry. I will not do a test. Just come. I'm going to show something. Don't worry. I'll do a test. You're okay. <clears throat> Here we go. How want to do a test. No, no. It's okay. You see, you can do this on your own. You can read on your right palm these verses. You can take a verse. You know, you can take your palm, like your right hand, your palm. And can you read these verses? I wrote them for you here. Surat Ibrahim, verse from 42 to 52. Some of the things I tell you here are not necessarily again in the Quran, some are in the Sunnah, but some also are in the experience from the people who are experts in this field. From A'imma, like Imam Ahmad, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Shafi'i.